What's crack, it's Evangelina Skov, and today we're gonna to be talking about Drake Bell. I am 23 years old, and if you're around my age, you would have grown up watching Drake and Josh. I think it's one of those shows we've just all collectively seen, and we all remember really fondly. And because of that, we have very high opinions of the two main actors who are on the show. But recently, Drake Bell, who played Drake on the show, has been accused of mistreating his ex-girlfriend, Melissa. So in today's video, we're gonna go over her claims and what he had to say about it too. But before we get into that, please subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when I upload. And if you want to, you can also check out the memberships with the little join button right beside the subscribe button. On an unrelated note, I have a bowl of ice water because this room is very hot and I'm periodically going to be doing this so I don't melt and can record the video. We good with that? Good. Because this room has the best audio in the apartment, but it is also the hottest. I think when you hear a story about people you saw a lot growing up, it kind of hits differently. But the only real drama we've had about either Drake or Josh was I think last year when Josh didn't invite Drake to his wedding. And that story really, really upset people. So hearing the accusations that are being made about Drake now is obviously a lot more upsetting. So what actually happened? Well, yesterday, Drake's ex-girlfriend, Melissa, posted a video on TikTok. In that, she talks about their relationship. And she said about a year into it, she started Started being mistreated verbally by Drake. And a while after that, it started to get physical too. And she goes into some very brief details of what happened. And she even goes as far as saying that he dragged her down the stairs at one point and she apparently hit every single step on the way down. And if that is true, it's truly horrifying. So let's just hear what she had to say. First, I would like to start out with saying that I don't really care if anyone believes me as this is my story in my life and something that I went through. It wasn't until recently that I actually realized that abuse isn't something that all women have to go through. When I started dating Drake, I was 16. I was homeschooled, I moved in with him, I was singing. It wasn't until about a year when the verbal abuse started. And when I say verbal abuse, imagine the worst type of verbal abuse you could ever imagine, and that was what I got. Um, it then turned into physical, hitting, throwing, everything um at the pinnacle of it he drug me down the stairs of our house in los feliz my face hit every step on the way down um i have photos of this <laughs> i don't even want to get into the underage girls thing i mean i will but i'm scared as we can hear from that clip on TikTok as well, she says that she does have evidence for this, including pictures of her injuries gained when she was dragged down the stairs. Now, I'm not sure if she's planning to show these, if she's planning to put them on TikTok or in some other social media, or if she plans on bringing him to court and using these as actual evidence. And of course, like with any of these stories, some people believe her and some people don't because they wonder why she didn't come forward sooner. However, we do know by now that it's not always easy for victims of things like this to come forward. And for many of them, it takes years for them to gain the courage, and for others, they may never gain the courage to do so. But if it does so happen that Melissa brings Drake to court, we might find more answers that way. For now though, we do also have a statement from Drake. This was made to Variety, and he basically claims that none of this ever happened. In this, he says, I never my ex-girlfriend or did so many of the other things Melissa falsely claimed on her TikTok video. As a relationship ended more than a decade ago, we unfortunately both called each other terrible names as it often happens when couples are breaking up. But that is it. Clearly, Melissa still felt close enough to me just last year that she was comfortable reaching out to ask me to provide her with financial support during a tough time which I did. I do not know if today's behavior is some kind of misguided quest for more money or attention, but I cannot and will not allow these offensive and defamatory allegations to go unchallenged and I am reviewing my legal options. So basically he just straight out says this didn't happen except for us calling each other names when we were breaking up, which is a normal-ish thing to do. Not a good thing to do, but it does happen. A lot of people have taken his word on this and believe what he's saying is true and that Melissa is just looking for attention or money or some kind of fame. Whereas others say, well, of course he's gonna deny this, but we should believe her. As there isn't really enough evidence to prove either side of the story yet, it's really up to you what you believe. However, However, Drake does say that he's reviewing his legal options, which would imply that he's going to sue for defamation. It could mean something else, but that seems like the most logical step to take if he's saying that what she's saying isn't true. So if that is the case, we will just have to wait and see. There was another more worrying point as well that Melissa brought up in her TikTok. If 
if you remember from earlier. At the very end of it, she says, I don't even want to get into the underage girls thing. I mean, I will, but I'm scared. <laughs> I don't even want to get into the underage girls thing. I mean, I will, but I'm scared. So this is obviously implying that Drake had some kind of relations with underage girls, which if true makes this story so much worse. She hasn't said anything about that yet, so we'll just have to wait and see for now what actually happens and what the exact claims she's making are. And if anything else does happen with the story, I will continue to cover it and let you guys know and keep you updated. But for now, there isn't enough evidence to definitively prove either side. So we're just gonna have to wait till more evidence comes out or somebody goes to court. But do let me know in the comments what you think about all of this. Do you think Melissa is telling the truth and that Drake really did do all of this? Or do you think she's just looking for attention? Let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So as I said at the start of the video, please subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when I upload. And since there's a very good chance that this video will be demonetized as a lot of videos on these topics are, then if you want to support the channel, you can consider checking out the memberships or the Patreon. Links will be in the description. And you can also follow me on social media like, comment, share, and do all the things that I'm supposed to ask you to do at the end of a video, and have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!